11th Hour Audio presents Creature Feature of the Month with your master of frights, Owen McEwen. Greetings, listeners, and thank you for joining us at the 11th Hour. It is February 2022, and here in the Mid-Atlantic, that means... Oh, baby, it's cold outside. So, for this month's feature, we thought we'd heat things up a bit with an offering from KISS, the audio series. KISS, the audio series, comes to us from 11th Hour Audio Challenge participant, Experience J, who created Santa Baby for the Twelfth Night Horror, and who also starred in Highway Child for the 11th Hour Audio Challenge back in 2020. Here are a few words about KISS. Some people believe that a kiss is one of the most intimate connections that two people can share. But when it comes to Washington, D.C.'s lipstick serial killer, a mere kiss could easily equate to death. The kiss of death, as she is known to the public, preys on attractive, unsuspecting men with only one objective in mind. To kill. Sealing each murder with a sinful kiss to the frontal lobe, the kiss of death plots to destroy every man in her path for as long as she can. Let's give a listen, shall we? You are now listening to Kiss, the audio series. Hello? 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 Is, is, Is anybody in here? I know you're probably still trying to figure me out, (laughs) but don't hurt your pretty little head over thinking. I'm an extremely complex individual, and believe me, things aren't always as they seem. I remember my first kill like it was yesterday. It was midterms week, my freshman year of college, and I was bugging the fuck out. My mother had insisted that I go to school locally due to my condition and shit. Apparently mother knows best because I just couldn't handle the pressure. I had been breaking out into cold sweats having crazy ass dreams. And even my meds didn't seem to be doing the trick. One night, I decided to hit the campus library for a little late night solo study session. And ah, that's when I spotted him. Sexy ass Nico Freeman. He was a junior and his reputation definitely preceded him. He was a hoe, but that smile. Mmm, that smile was the hook, line, and sinker. But one look, you literally threw the panties at him. Nico was a poet slash rapper, so the motherfucker had a way with words. I had seen him around campus a few times and even attended a few of his open mics. I can't front, he was dope. He walked in and sat at a table not too far from me. As a matter of fact, he made sure he sat where I could see him. I was one of the only chicks on campus who paid that motherfucker no attention. Well, at least I pretended not to. And he couldn't stand it. I still remember his scent. Cause I got a good whiff of that shea butter and African musk mix. When he sat down and pulled out his African American studies textbook. I had my face buried in my own books. But I just knew he had his eyes on me. I could literally feel his eyes piercing through my soul. I purposely didn't look over for at least 20 minutes. And let me tell you. This was the loudest, quietest motherfucker in the library. He kept adjusting his seat, going through his backpack, searching for shit, tapping his pen. So once the motherfucker started coughing, I had enough. I finally looked up and of course, his eyes were planted on me. And damn, the motherfucker smiled. Uh. (coughs) Could you possibly be any louder? You okay over there? Who, me? Oh yeah, my bad. I didn't know I was loud. My apologies. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure you did. What are you studying for? I'm attempting to study for my psych class. Attempting? Yeah. 
but there's this dumb motherfucker in the library, so it's kind of hard to focus. What are you, the library noise manager? Maybe. Apparently, I'm doing a horrible job, though. Because here you are, still making noise. Well, miss, maybe if you join me over here, you can help manage the noise a little better. <laughs> you already know what happened. I never did finish studying that night. I ended up at Nico's apartment off campus, and he fucked the shit out of me. Like that fresh out of jail, I ain't had no good pussy in a long ass time, kind of fucker. But you know, college boy. He basically ghosted me after that night, but I was already one step ahead of him. I wasn't like the other thirsty ass freshmen. I just wanted to experience some good old college life. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a man. Then again, Nico was an attention seeker. So when I kept that same energy after he ghosted me, he didn't like that shit at all. I would see him all over the campus doing his thing, but I didn't sweat it. That wasn't my style. Even if he looked my way, I faced the opposite direction and pretend I didn't even see him. I was completely cool with our one night stand. Besides, I was known as the goody two shoes of the campus. I couldn't have everybody up in my business. I randomly bumped into him one night after an open mic we both attended. He had his little crew with him, and of course I had complete amnesia. I acted as if we had never met. I mean, what kind of woman would I be if I allowed myself to get all crazy and worked up over some poet ass nigga? He served his purpose. The dick was good as fuck. Thank you and good night. But nah, not Nico. That was a bruise to his entire little ego. What up, T? How you doing? Hey, um, how do you know my name? Do I know you? Oh, word? You don't know me now? You know what? You do look familiar. Where do I know you from? Do you go to a praise of me? Yo, you got jokes. Nah, I don't. Last month, remember? We were studying. Oh, dude from the library. Um, Rico? You playing. Yo, it's Nico. Oh, yeah. My bad, Nico. Well, I hope everything is well with you. Good seeing you again. Take care. When I walked away, I could hear all his boys straight clowning, and I knew I would be getting a phone call soon. The male ego is something serious. He waited a few days, though. I knew he wouldn't want to seem pressed, but trust. He was anxiously waiting to get his hands on me again. When he finally hit me up, he played it off real cool. Yeah, that was real cute what you did the other night. You acted like you ain't know me, and I know that game. I invented that game. Listen, no disrespect, but I don't do a lot of talking. You called, so what's up? Okay, miss. Nice. Damn, I want to see you again. Bet. Of course I wanted that D again, so I went over for a little late night fun. Everything was all good. That is, until I got up to leave. Damn, leaving so soon? Yeah, I got an early morning ahead of me. Two exams back to back. Then I got choir practice. But thank you for tonight. Damn, I needed that. I appreciate you. You appreciate me? What do you think this is? I ain't your jump off, shorty. You're thinking too much about this, Nico. We had fun. Just relax. Nah, see, I can't stand chicks like chicks you. Chicks like me? Yeah. You bougie ass, stuck up females. You swear you the baddest thing walking, but you ain't shit for real. Oh, baby. Is your ego bruised? Because I'm the only one around here not sniffing after your fake conscious so tap poet ass. Bruised ego? Nah, shorty, you wish. I only called you because I knew you let me fuck. <laughs> Nigga, are you stupid? That's the only reason I answered, so we could fuck. That's how this works. You the jump off, not me. Don't ever get it twisted. Listen, this has been fun, but I gotta go. <laughs> yep, I'll definitely see you later. Nico got up from his bed and walked over to where his stereo sat. That's when I noticed the flashing red light. This nigga had recorded us fucking without my permission. My blood started to boil. What kind of sick motherfucker record somebody without the fucking permission? Oh, you real quiet now. I just wanted to show everybody that Little Miss Perfect ain't perfect at all. Ain't perfect at all. Ain't perfect at all. She just wants everything to be perfect. She wants me to be perfect. Come here. Don't be scared. Stand right here for me. You like pictures, don't you? These can be your pageant pictures. Okay? Just between you and me. I don't think I want to do this pageant anymore. You know what you have to do tomorrow. I know you hear me. I know you've always heard me. Kill him. No. He deserves to die for what he did. I can't. 
Yes, you can. And you will. You'll feel so much better when you're feeling. I promise. Oh, you real quiet now. I just wanted to show everybody that Little Miss Perfect ain't perfect at all. What did you just say to me? Yeah, you heard me. All your community service and choir singing, straight A's, all that shit is a front. You're a fraud ass female. You ain't perfect. And once I blast this video on social media, everybody will know the truth about your whole ass. Now get the fuck out. I am perfect. 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 I'm fucking perfect. Oh. To be honest, I blacked the fuck out after that. I woke up to a murder scene. Nico was laying in a pool of his own blood with the matching barbell next to his lifeless body. I couldn't recall much, but oddly enough, I felt empowered. I felt redeemed. I felt seen. I knew after that day, nobody was going to make a fool out of me ever again. And if they tried, they had to go. That was just one thing I hadn't bargained for. Kiss was here to stay. And that bitch didn't have no rules to this game. She saw blood and vengeance, and she would get it by any means necessary. Before I left out, I cleaned up after myself and made sure I deleted the video from his camera. I took it with me as a nice little souvenir. There was just one more thing I had to do. I called this one, Old to the Fuckboy. The sensation in my belly, the tingle in between my thighs. I must feed thy ravenous soul and hunger no more. I shall partake of the fuckboy, <laughs> for it brings me such bliss, like a knife to the heart. I shall sow each fate with a kiss. Mwah. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. Many of you have questions why I never get caught. <laughs> The answer's pretty simple, but that's a story for another time. Ciao. Mwah.